we will do some questions on nature of salt solution. The salts we are going to consider are pH of strong base weak acid, weak base strong acid and weak base weak acid. We are not going to do strong acid strong base because they give neutral solution. One more thing I want you to consider is you will always have a confusion on whether to use Ka or Kb. So the hint for that is if you think the product has hydrogen ions then use Ka. And if the product, in the reaction, you have written a reaction and if the product has hydroxide ions, use Kb. You will see the application of, uh, of this in the questions we will be doing now. Calculate the pH of a 0 0.20 molar sodium chloride solution. The Ka of HF is given. So this is a salt of a strong base and a weak acid. And um, if you write the reaction with water, I get sodium ions and fluoride ions. And we know that sodium ion does not react with water. The fluoride ions reacts with water to give you the hydroxide ions. The Ka of HF is given. So we have to calculate the Kb of F minus. And we know that Ka times Kb is 10 to the power of negative 14. Using that, we get the value of Kb. And then after we calculate it, set up the ice box and get the value of X, which is the concentration of hydroxide ion. And from the concentration of hydroxide ion, we can calculate the pOH. And the pOH, we get the pH as 8.2, and uh, uh, which is in accordance with what we have learned. Sodium fluoride, a salt of a strong base and a weak acid, should have a basic solution. Calculate the pH of a 0.18 molar ammonium iodide solution. The Kb of ammonia is given. So, ammonium iodide in water ionizes as ammonium ion and I minus. And this reaction, since the Kb of ammonia is given, let's calculate the Ka of this. And that comes as 5.5, 5, 10 to the power of negative 10. I negative will not react with water because it is the conjugate base of a strong acid. And the reaction of ammonia plus water gives me the hydronium ion. Therefore, this is the one which is going to tell me what will be the pH of the solution. And uh, when I calculate the value of x after setting up the ice box, I get the pH as 5.1. Calculate the pH of a 3 molar ammonium cyanide solution. The Kb of ammonia is given, Ka of HCN is also given. So this is a salt of uh, weak acid and a weak base. So both the ions will react with water. So we need to know which is dominating to depend uh, to find the pH of the solution. So the first case, we will take the case of ammonium ions. Ammonium ions, when they react with water, the hydrogen ions are produced and the Kb of ammonia is given. This being an acid reaction, I will get the value of Ka and get the value of X. And the hydrogen ion concentration is calculated there. So, but in this case, even the cyanide ion reacts with water to give the hydroxide ion. So after calculating the Kb, I get the value of X as uh, that is the, in this case it is the concentration of hydroxide ions as uh, 2.19 10 to the power of negative 3. So uh, the calculations are not over it. I have hydrogen ion in solution, hydroxide ion in solution. So they will react with each other. So we should know that how much of it gets reacted and how much of it is left over. So the reaction again we set up a nice box for the hydrogen ion, hydroxide ion concentration and I since the hydrogen ion concentration is uh, less as compared to hydroxide, all of it will get used up and I will be left with some amount of hydroxide ion uh, concentration. So use this hydroxide ion concentration to calculate the pOH of the solution. And uh, once you calculate the pOH, stay, uh, take it away from 14 to get the pH of the solution. Calculate the concentration of potassium ions carbonate, bicarbonate, OH- and H positive in a 0 0.20 molar potassium carbonate solution. And the Ka of uh, by, uh, H2CO3, the two, both the ionizations are given. So this is a different kind of solution. They have not asked you to calculate the pH. They want the concentration of all the ions present in it. So to start with, um, let us just see what the potassium carbonate gives. Then put it in water it gives you the potassium ions and the carbonate ions. And we know that the potassium ion does not react with water. So we need not consider that. Let's take up the carbonate ion. 
when the carbonate ion is reacted with water it will uh, accept the first hydrogen and will form a bicarbonate and will give me the hydroxide ion so set up the ice table and using the value of kb ka is given convert that into kb and get the value of this x and this x is the concentration of hydroxide and the bicarbonate ion let's do the step 2 now in the previous case we calculated the concentration of bicarbonate now use that bicarbonate if that is going to react with water to give me the h2co3 and oh minus so i already have some amount of bicarbonate so set up the ice table using those values uh, so if in the ice uh, and then in the kb value substitute these values use small k approximation and i will be able to calculate the value of y and this y is the concentration of h2co3 and once i have the concentration of h2co3 i can get the concentration of all the others so the concentration of potassium will be the same as the original uh, salts concentration that's 0 0.40 concentration of bicarbonate will be uh, what we got in the step 1 minus what we got as y in this step but the value of y is so small as compared to the previous step concentration so concentration of bicarbonate remains as 6.5 into the power of negative 3 and concentration of h2co3 I got it from uh, this step and that is 2.2 to the power of negative 8 and concentration of hydroxide also because the value of y is much uh, smaller compared to the x we got earlier it remains as 6.5 to the power of negative 3. Concentration of hydrogen ions can be obtained by using the iron product of water and that is equal to 1.5 to the power of negative 12.